Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to EC2 instance, which is a Linux EC2 machine using browser. So in this demo, I'm not using any PuTTY terminal, which we usually use in Windows operating system. And I'm not using any Linux terminal, which we use in either Linux operating system or Mac OS. So this video is uh, how to use your browser to connect you to your Linux EC2 instance. So let's uh, uh, step into the console and see how to connect to the EC2 instance. So we are into the Amazon console. Now I'm going to show you how to um, connect to the, your EC2 instance. Uh, go to the EC2 instance page. Now I have already one instance up and running. I'm going to the home page of this particular instance. Now, if you see here, I have a couple of details for me to connect to my instance if uh, I'm using a Linux terminal or a, a Windows operating system using PuTTY. So, if I'm using any Linux or a, a Windows operating system, I need to know the public IP to connect to my EC2 instance. But here, I'm trying to connect to my EC2 instance using the browser. So, there is an option here uh, for you to connect using browser. If you see here the option connect so this option will help you to connect to your EC2 instance so you will get a web browser interface where you can execute all the commands so let me use this uh, option and see how it helps so I'm when I click here it will take you take me to another screen where uh, uh, there are different options specified here so before I actually use the browser let me show you this uh, SH client so this is how we normally connect using Linux terminal, but uh, that, that is not our uh, discussion now. Let's use uh, our browser, which is, uh, this is also called AC2 um, instance connect, okay. So here uh, we are going to connect to this uh, instance and this is the public IP and the important thing that you need to note is the user id so this is the default user that is created while we are creating an ec2 instance so if you have a different user in your machine you have to specify that particular user but as i'm using the amazon ami i'm going to use uh, this ec2 user okay now at this point of time i can use uh, connect and to see how it is uh, connecting see now I'm able to connect to my mission EC2 mission so let me see who am I this is EC2 user and let me see if I'm able to ping any outside side so I'm able to ping the uh, other sites as well so I'm able to connect to my EC2 instance using my browser and uh, also I'm able to talk to the uh, internet now let us see um, there is uh, some question people keep asking me uh, when you are trying to connect to your ec2 instance using browser does a security group play any role because we have a security group where we uh, we have a security group let me take you to the instance okay so here we have a security group Okay, so this is the security group that this EC2 instance is using. Uh, this security group has uh, the firewall, uh, like a firewall for this EC2 instance. So this security group defines the uh, ports required, inbound ports and outbound ports for this EC2 instance. So the question from the different people is, uh, does this security group uh, uh, really act when you are trying to connect to your EC2 instance using browser okay uh, so let's see if uh, that actually works so I'm going to delete uh, this particular 22 port and I'm going to see if I'm able to connect so I'm going to delete uh, uh, close this tab so I'm going to this uh, security group and then I have an inbound rule which specifies port 22 is allowed now I'm going to delete this particular rule which allows me to connect to EC2 instance and check whether I'm able to connect to the EC2 instance using browser. 
So, here in this option we have uh, edit uh, inbound rules, I am going to click this and I am going to delete this particular rule, okay? I am saving rule. Now, this security group does not have any rule that allows 22 port. Now, let me go to my EC2 instance and see if I am able to connect to this instance using browser. Okay. Now, I am going to connect to this EC2 instance using my EC2 instance browser connect. Okay. So, all the details are fine. Now, I am going to connect. So, it will just stay there and it will not allow me to connect because uh, it will be timed out. The network port which is uh, SSH22 is not allowed at uh, a security group uh, for me to connect to the instance. So, that proves that even if you are using your browser to connect to your EC2 instance on a Linux machine, um, the security group should allow port 22. So, let me bring back that rule and see if I am able to connect back. Now, what I am going to do is, I am uh, closing this tab. Now, um, let me go to my instance and uh, add the rule uh, to make sure that I am now able to connect. Okay. Now, uh, go to the instance home page and in the security and let me go to my security group. So, here if you see, there are no inbound rules. Now, I am going to add the rule uh, which is SSH port 22, I do not know. Okay. Now, let me add the rule which is uh, SSH port 22. So, I am specifying from anywhere in the internet and add this rule. Okay. So, now the port is uh, allowed to connect to my EC2 instance on 22. Now, let me go to the EC2 instance and try to connect using browser. Okay. Now, so I am successfully able to connect to my EC2 instance using my browser. So, that proves uh, um, that uh, uh, we need to have the security group uh, allowing port 22 uh, to connect to our EC2 instance. So, uh, thanks for watching this uh, demo. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, uh, subscribe my channel for any future updates. Uh, thank you.